Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Larry Miles. I live in Louisville, Kentucky. I worship with the Cherry Street Church of Christ in New Albany, Indiana. I would like to start some lessons here based on some blog articles that I've written over the last few years in a book called Renewing Your Mind Spiritually. Tonight's lesson is called, How Then Shall We Live? One of the greatest and most precious promises in the Word of God is the certainty of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ for His church. Christians are expected to live a different kind of life than that of the unbeliever. We know the Lord's coming back. We don't know when. If anybody tells you they do, they're not telling you the truth. Colossians 3, 1 and 2 tells us that we should set our minds on the things that are above and have a heavenly mindset in everything, in every aspect of our Christian life. How should we live in this here and now where we are serving the Lord Jesus Christ and looking for his coming. I believe every generation from the first century on had or should have had in their hearts and minds a belief that the Lord could come in their lifetime. Believing that he could come in their lifetime or in our lifetime should be a motivating force that will help us to greater service for our master, Jesus Christ. How should we live in anticipation of the return of the Lord Jesus? Or as Paul calls him, the blessed hope in Titus 2 and verse 13. We must be found waiting and watching and looking, but also we must be found working for him and being active and faithful in serving our Savior. Paul gave us a wonderful motivation for righteous living. Believers are waiting for a hope that's already a certainty. We can look forward to Christ's return with eager anticipation. We must adhere to a song we sing a lot, we'll work till Jesus comes. By utilizing the thought of the blessed hope, or that term, Paul brings out at least two aspects of Christian living that should be stressed today. First of all, waiting with anticipation. Secondly, hoping for Christ's glorious appearing. The waiting is very good for us. It builds character, endurance, and perseverance. The hoping makes the waiting bearable. C.S. Lewis wrote these words. It is since Christians have largely ceased to think of the other world that they have become ineffective in this one. Aim at heaven and you'll get earth thrown in. Aim at earth and you'll get neither. Four words seem to characterize our earthly sojourn for the Lord Jesus Christ. The first word is occupy. We're to use our talents for the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that every Christian has at least one talent that he or she can utilize to bring glory to God. There's room in the kingdom for all of us, for all Christians to develop their talents and use them to further the work of the church. Secondly, the word is purify. We must say no to this world's attractions. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17 tells us that we are living in this world but are not of this world. That means that we don't march to the drum of the world. The standards the world has is a standard against what the Lord Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father and Holy Spirit stand for. We must have and practice mind renewal in a mindless society, according to Romans 12, 1 and 2. The third word is watch. This watching will include waiting and working. We must seek to be active in his service, not, only, not just occupying a pew. We must want to do all it takes to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the last words, the last verse of the Apostle Peter's second epistle to his readers back then in the first century and to us today. The fourth word is worship. Gathering around the Lord's table reminds us both of redemption and the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must keep looking up at all times, believing the Lord can come back in our lifetime and being ready at all times that he may come today. So we encourage you to always be serving the Lord day by day, 
seeking to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus. If you'd like to check out my blog, it's larryslines.com. The site for the Cherry Street Church of Christ, our website is cherrystreetchurchofchrist.com also. Thanks again for listening to this and watching this short video about how we shall live in anticipation of the Lord's coming.